Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my sample project pan update number two for the month of May. I know it is June. This is my second time filming this, and <laughs> I explain a lot more in my get ready with me tomorrow that is going up. And if you want to see this eye look, um, I also do this tomorrow in the next video. But anyways, this is the second time I'm filming this, and I'm going to do my full-size empties for the month of May as well in the same video, and I'm not going to show you updates for this month because I want this video to be quite a bit shorter. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is just showing updates in the first update video and then showing you guys full empties of the whole month in the second update video. That way the videos aren't 30 and 40 minutes long because it just gets to be too much to edit and it's not as fun for me to edit that long of a video and I'm sure you guys are kind of sick of watching that long of a video from me because I typically end, end up doing videos that are quite a bit longer in nature but I want to start doing some shorter videos because I think it'll be a lot more intriguing for me to end up editing for you guys. So. All that being said, in the super long intro, I have six empties for you and then I have some full size empties to talk about. So I want to just jump right on into it and get going. So here we go. So as per usual, I'm going to show close ups of these products as I talk about them. But the first sample empty that I have is from Patchology and it is the exfoliate flash mask flash mask facial sheet and it is ideal for skin with rough uneven texture and a drab appearance to be completely honest i really didn't notice anything with this you guys know that i don't really like a ton of essence left in the um face mask packages because i feel like it's wasteful and this one doesn't have any essence left so i will say one thing about this mask it did fit my face much better i do have a bigger forehead and like smaller down here area typically than the masks give me because typically my mask will go all the way down to here which is obnoxious for my face um and then it's like too small in the forehead you know what i mean and i have a bigger forehead i have a five head or no i guess i have a forehead technically anyways <laughs> so this mask I really didn't notice anything special about I would not repurchase and not only that but this is quite an expensive mask as per usual I'm gonna put the prices at the end um, but yeah I wouldn't repurchase this I didn't really notice anything special about it and yeah I would go with other masks than this one that's just how I feel so the next empty I have is a shower empty and it is the OGX extra strength damage remedy and coconut miracle oil shampoo and conditioner i loved this this was a single use packet for me unfortunately pretty much all of these little foil packets for shampoos and conditioners are all pretty much single uses for me and i loved this one it was amazingly soft on my hair it really felt like it cleaned my scalp really really nicely the shampoo and then the conditioner was thick enough where it felt nice on the skin on the, I was gonna say on the skin it felt nice on the hair and especially the ends where it can get much more dry also the shampoo was a water-based shampoo which is what I like I don't like the cream based shampoos so that really worked out for me I did look on Ulta and the shampoo was sold out and the conditioner is in stock so so I would want to buy them when they are both in stock. You can get them cheaper at like Meyer or Walmart or um, I don't know about Kroger, but you know, any of your regular supermarkets, I would say is a little bit cheaper than Ulta. But if you want the Ulta points, then I would wait for buy one, get one half off. So anyways, I would definitely repurchase this. And if I got another sample of this, I would be super, super happy. But I have tons of shampoos and conditioners right now. I'm not going to be purchasing anytime soon, but I will have this on my list for when I'm ready for more. The next sample empty I have is the little sample empty of a perfume. And it is once again, the Prada Candy perfume. I believe I had one of these empties in April and I used up another one. And I do really, really like this perfume. I couldn't quite get all of the perfume out of there. I even tried like taking off the lid and it just doesn't come off, which is kind of annoying. I'd like to get all of the perfume out, but this one I just couldn't get it all out. It's a very, very sweet scent, which I really, really like, but it does not stay on my skin long at all. It's pretty much like an hour and it's completely gone. You can't smell it anymore. Even if I really like try to sniff my clothes and my neck and my shirt and everything, it's just completely gone. So for that reason, I would not purchase, but I did really like this scent. Then I have a conditioner sample that I finished up in the shower, and it is from John Frieda. It is the Frizz Ease Daily Nourishment Moisturizing Conditioner. I 
loved this conditioner. This is, if I had to choose one of my sample conditioners that I have used up to repurchase, this is the one I would choose. It was so thick and cream based. It was so nice on the hair. It left my hair feeling very, very moisturized and nourished. And it didn't give me a lot of frizzies when my hair air dried. You guys know I don't blow dry my hair. I only let it air dry and usually get a little bit of frizziness around my ears and in the back of my head like when I put my hair up but this one left my hair so nice and soft and I loved it and I only needed to use a tiny bit because it was so heavy and thick on the hair that I really didn't need much of it so I really enjoyed this one I would definitely repurchase it is on my list but like I said I don't need any right now but I will definitely be repurchasing this in the future then as you guys probably suspected that I was gonna finish this sometime soon it is the Becca first light priming filter and this was amazing this was the best primer I have used in the winter months now since it has started to get warmer I did use it a little bit in the warmer warmer months and I did not like it as much because it left my skin a little bit more greasy and oily than I wanted it to be but I did get 23 uses out of this that I ended up marking down and I loved this primer. It was so incredibly good. It left my skin so glowy and healthy and fresh looking. I really, really enjoyed this. I've already repurchased a full size and I think this is totally worth it. If you just want to try it out, I would definitely suggest getting a small size and trying it out. The very last sample empty that I have should be no surprise to you guys. I finally finished this Platinum Skin Care Platinum Eyes Intense Treatment for Aging and Tired Eyes and apply it to in the entire eye area. I was using this as my nighttime eye cream and I loved it. I had to guess on the size of this and I ended up guessing 0 0.08 ounces for the pricing of it and I loved this eye cream. It was so thick and heavy but it didn't leave my eyes feeling like goopy and oily in the morning. Like if I woke up in the morning and I didn't have time to wash my face because I was in a rush, it was okay because I didn't feel greasy in the morning, which was really, really nice. I really love this eye cream. I'm already missing it. I am using another eye cream right now, which you guys will see in my next update video, but I'm missing this one. I really, really am. And I haven't made a full opinion on that other one yet. So hopefully I will have a better opinion on it in a couple weeks when I update you guys. But I'm really, really missing this one. I really love this little sample from Splat from Platinum Skincare. It is a Michigan-based brand. So if you guys are in the Michigan area, it is on Hall Road. But I will leave their website link down below. And I will leave this product link down below if you want to purchase it online. I think it's totally worth it. The the full size is quite pricey. I think it's like $44 for the full size, but I really think it's worth it. It was so good. I have tons of eye creams to use right now, so I won't be repurchasing it anytime soon, but I will be repurchasing this in the future. So those were all of my sample empties that I had for the month, and the total of all of those items came to $26.86. So I will leave a total here of the number of items and also the price total of all the sample empties that I have so far for the year. I think I'm doing really really well so far this year i think i could be doing a little bit better because i am using up some full size items as well so technically if i was only using sample empties or sample products for this you know time frame i think i would get through things a lot faster but i don't want to neglect my full size items at the same time because then those are going to go bad and i paid a full size price for the full size item and most of these samples i got as free samples so I want to make good use out of them and make good progress with it, but I am really enjoying this project so far. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I'm kind of glad that I'm not doing it the way that other people are doing it, where you're picking out products and using what you pick out. I'm just kind of using things as I go, and as I finish products, I'm updating you guys, and I'm updating you on my progress and stuff like that. So I've been really enjoying doing it the way I'm doing it, and I don't feel so much pressure doing it my way because I'm just enjoying it, to be totally honest. I'm just having fun with this project and it's enjoyable. So I hope you guys are still enjoying hearing my reviews on some of these items, but let's get into the full size empties. I don't have a lot, I just have a few, so let's jump right into those. So the first full size item empty I have is from Rich Radiant Skincare and is the Cocoa Butter 
cleansing wipes. I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and there are 30 wipes in here. I have been using these blue ones as well. This is a full pack that I just put in my drawer because I finished this one and I use these just to take off the wipes. If I were to choose between the two at the Dollar Tree, I would definitely choose the cocoa butter ones. They are so much softer and much better at pulling off swatches from my arm. These ones are not as good but unfortunately I picked up a ton of these so I'm just kind of going through them but once I'm done using those I will go ahead and purchase these and like I said I don't use these to take off my face makeup at night I use something else but I do use these for swatches and I love these ones they were so great and they didn't dry out as quickly as the blue ones did so I would definitely repurchase these and for removing my face makeup you guys can probably already guess what I have it is the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes and I love these this is a 25 pack and I get the big pack of them at Costco it comes with four of these ones and two of the travel size ones that have like seven to ten wipes in them I really Really, really love these they work so well they stay pretty wet in the container but what I end up doing to keep them wet because this is just a sticky that kind of peels up what I end up doing is when I take a wipe out I close this completely and then I flip it upside down like this so that the wipe stays closed and I put it on a book on my desk and it works so much better when you do that because then it's not just sitting up and you're taking the dry one you're putting it upside down so all the liquid is floating downward so you're getting a wet wipe when you want to use it so I really love these I repurchase them all the time you guys will probably see them in pretty much every single one of my empties videos so definitely would recommend these they do leave your skin oily and greasy after you're done using them so you definitely need to wash your face afterwards but I do that anyway so I love these then I finally finished up something that was in my project plant pan from 2017 and it is the Meyer Elements makeup or oil-free makeup remover and I really did like this. This I just used to remove swatches when my wipes were dry or just to remove my liquid lipstick because sometimes you just need a little bit extra to take off liquid, liquid lipstick if you know what I mean. But I really did enjoy this. It was pretty inexpensive and I would definitely repurchase. I do have a Neutrogena one that I'm using currently but if I was in the need for a liquid um, makeup remover I would definitely go for this one because it was really nice and it lasted very very well in a long time but it is the kind that separates from the water and the oil so you had to shake it up when you used it which wasn't a big deal so I did like this one I would recommend if you have a Meyer near you if not then I mean just any like house brand would probably be fine then once again I used up a shaver this is just the Gillette regular double blade single use razor or I don't know if it's called single use but it's like I don't know I use them for a month and then I get rid of them because they get dried up and they get kind of nasty on there but I do have a bunch of these to finish up using and I will just keep using them Then something that has been helping me sleep at night because you guys know I have pretty bad insomnia most nights um, I take melatonin and this is the five milligrams from nature's truth I really did like this one when I just wanted a little bit of a sleeping aid I would just take one but if I really needed to like fall asleep right now I would take two <laughs> because this is a very relaxing and sleep inducing type of vitamin but I really did like it. It was nice. I just took it sublingually or I let it dissolve under my tongue and that was perfectly fine. I would just drink a ton of water after just to kind of rinse it down. I will say one thing when I take melatonin, I do have very strange dreams. To be completely fair and honest, I have a lot of dreams anyways that are very, very vivid and strange and weird, but it seems like I have more weird dreams when I'm taking melatonin than not. So I've been trying to figure out if that has something to do with it or I'm just in a really relaxed state of my sleep and it's just that's when I dream. I'm not really sure if it's really you know making a difference or not but I do take that to help me sleep and I do really like it and my final item I have for you guys is another toothpaste it is the Philips Sonicare Floridac sensitivity relief toothpaste I can only get this 
at my dentist. It costs $15 and it is a high level of fluoride, which is why I can only get it at the dentist. And it is 1.1% um, sodium fluoride and 5% potassium nitrate. And it is four ounces. And it says prescription only because it is such a high dosage of sodium fluoride. But I really, really like using this. You only need the tiniest amount. I think this lasts me for two to three months, I would say, and I use it every single night. I don't use it as my, my daytime toothpaste. I use Sensodyne as my daytime toothpaste, but my nighttime, I always use this, and you just need like the tiniest bit, and you brush really, really well. I'm a very aggressive brusher, so I try to brush really gently and for a really long time to have that really clean feeling. Um, but I really do like this and it does help my sensitivity significantly. I do love this and I recommend it if you have very sensitive teeth. So right now on the screen, I'm gonna put my total sample empties for the month and my total empties for the month, the amounts and the numbers because I think it's really important to see how much product you're actually using up in the year. And I always include my other things like my vitamins and my toothpaste and stuff because those aren't things that I actually need but things that make my life better and that's how I feel about makeup like it's not things that I need I don't need these things but I really enjoy them they make my life happier I really enjoy talking to you guys about them and talking to friends at work and talking to my girlfriends in life about it and it's just fun you know and why not do something that you enjoy and that brings you pleasure in your own way because that's just something I really like to do and it's a hobby that I love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sample project pan update and my empties for the month of May. Sorry, this is going up late once again. I will explain way more about it in tomorrow's video and it is a get ready with me um, favorites video and I have a couple polls in that video so if you guys could answer those polls that would be amazing and also I wanted to announce the winner for the last giveaway that I had on my channel and the giveaway was for the um, Biobel My Diary of Beauty Secrets face mask kit. I'm going to message you on my beauty Instagram page. I'm going to personal message you so let me pull up her name on my YouTube channel. So the giveaway winner that I have is Bridget Ardent. Gosh, I hope I'm saying that right, but I know that she has been following me since the beginning. Thank you so much for being a follower. I really, really appreciate you and all the support that you give to my channel and my Instagram page. Thank you so much for being a follower and this is my gift to you is the mask kit that I have. Like I said, this is the unopened one, so I will in, I will personal message you on Instagram when this video goes live, so you'll probably know that you're the winner before you watch this video. But here is your name here. So anyways, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel in my, not my get ready with me video, but my video coming up on Tuesday. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be a video on Tuesday because hopefully my computer won't get corrupted again. Ugh. Anyways, I will have another video. I will have another hitting giveaway on that video. So make sure you stay tuned for that and always check my beauty Instagram page because I will always put my giveaways on that page as well so you guys can stay linked up both ways. But I'm really doing these beauty giveaways that are kind of hidden in my videos because I want them to be for my true subscribers, the people that watch my videos on a regular basis. And I know a lot of you are true subscribers because I see your comments on every single one of my videos. So please don't be discouraged if you didn't win this one. I'm sure you will win one in the future. I only have 700 subscribers and I know that only about 100 to 200 of you are regular followers that always watch my videos. So once again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support and I hope to continue growing my channel and I hope to continue giving away to you guys because your support means so much to me and I really appreciate it. So anyways, that is enough said for this video. Like I said, I was trying to keep it short, but I wanted to announce the winner here. So Bridget, thank you so much. Make sure to message me back on Instagram and I hope all of you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.